Hey guys, so the first trailer for Tomb Raider, the new reboot that's based on the 2013 video game Tomb Raider, has finally been released, and this one's going to be starring Alicia Vikander as Laura Croft. Now, I'm kind of on the fence about this movie. I'm more leaning towards excited, but I do have some concerns about it. So as I said, this is the first trailer. It actually was a te short teaser trailer before a teaser trailer, and then a sort of full trailer. Um, it basically looks like it's going to be almost a direct copy from the 2013 video game in a lot of senses. Um, as to Alicia Vikander, I feel like she fits the character, but there's also some things that could be improved. She probably wasn't the perfect casting, at least in my opinion. Um, but, you know, I think she can do a good job. I'm just kind of on the fence because we've been hurt by so many video game movies in the past that it's hard to say, yes, I'm really excited for this movie. And looking forward to it and not have that little bit of doubt in the back of my mind because a lot of video game movies, although some of them might have references to aspects of the video game, don't quite hold up to what the video game did. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to be the same case because even in the original Laura Croft Tomb Raider starring Angelina Jolie, that was a bit of a departure in a lot of ways from the video game, but at least she sort of looked a lot more like that Laura Croft than the more modern reboot, rebooted version rather of Laura Croft. Alicia Vikander kind of looks like her, I guess, but really not that much. So that's kind of a departure there, which is kind of, it's a little bit harder to bridge that gap when you don't have somebody that looks as much like the character. But at the same time, I kind of have to understand she has a lot of star power, which will probably bring in a little bit wider audience to this movie. Now, in terms of the overall look and feel of the movie, it does, again, look like the 2013 rebooted Laura Croft Tomb Raider that uh, came out on PS4. Um, I believe it also came out on Xbox as well. Um, but I just feel like there's something sort of off about this movie. It feels like they're trying really, really hard. Based on the trailers, you get the sense that they're trying to really go with what this video game readaptation is sort of going for. And I completely agree with that. That's a great way to go. Um, you, but you still have to bring in those original Laura Croft fans, which is going to be really difficult with this rebooted version. Even though the rebooted game is fantastic, it's going to be a little bit difficult to bring in those hardcore original Laura Croft fans. Now, big concern I think I have for this movie is the amount of slow motion action that's going to be happening. Based on the trailer alone, there were about two to three scenes, if I remember right, um, I'll leave a link down in the description below um, so you can watch the trailer if you haven't done so already. Um, but based on the trailer, there's like two or three scenes already where we get that slow motion action sequence that goes boom, like one of those. That happens several times in the trailer, which makes me concerned. How many times is this probably going to happen in the movie? Like every time Laura Croft has to do an action or like she has to jump across something or she's being shot at or whatever the situation may be. How many times is that slow motion action going to happen? Because I feel like that's going to override the movie and make it sort of repetitive so you don't really want to watch the movie and make it completely unenjoyable. It would just completely take away from the movie and the action that's actually happening that can be a little bit more fast paced. Yeah, you can use those slow motion action sequences for certain aspects, but it's been so overused in modern cinema that I feel like if you use it multiple times, let alone in the same movie, it's just going to become repetitive and boring, and it's just going to become another failed video game movie. Now, not to take anything away from this Tomb Raider reboot, I'm still somewhat excited to go and see it. Um, I've had general intrigue about it ever since they announced it. General intrigue again once Elisa Vikander was announced as the Tomb Raider. Um, but I don't really find myself overly excited. I think I'm cautiously optimistic for the movie but I'm not necessarily dying to go out and see it. Because like I said, we us video game uh, fans who've had those adaptations be made, Assassin's Creed, Mortal Kombat, even though that was probably one of the better versions, you name, there's a tons, tons, and tons of video game movies that have failed repeatedly. And I'm hoping this one can break the mold and surprise me in some way, but I'm just not going to get my hopes up too much. We've had our hearts broken too many times. But that's just my personal opinion. Uh, be sure to check out the link below for the trailer if you haven't seen it already. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this trailer movie in general uh, down in the comment section down below. 
Also, while you're down there, be sure to leave a like as well as hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Uh, but that's pretty much all I have for the Laura Croft Tomb Raider reboot, um, the first trailer. Uh, yeah, make sure you give me your opinions because I'm just sort of like, don't really know how to feel about it. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say about it. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.